back everyone, maybe in a random situation where for some reason the clear search and private data within your specific Safari settings within your iPhone are grayed out and you can't really see them. Now the reason why this is happening, it's really only one specific reason, it's because your iPhone has a restriction built in within it right now. So essentially your really only option is to do is to remove that restriction. So what we're going to be doing is making our way out of here and going into our screen time settings. So make your way over to your top portion of your iPhone and go ahead and click on screen time. Now when you do that, you will come to this specific panel. Now what we wanna do and all we need to do is go ahead and just make sure that there is not a restriction on our iPhone right now. If there is a restriction, you're going to have to remove it. So you're going to have to find that restriction, either type in your passcode and then remove it. And then when you go and type in your passcode, you wanna turn off screen time. Most of the time, this is how you can basically verify that this isn't the issue. Majority of the time, like I mentioned, it can be. So all you want to do here, go ahead, turn off screen time, and that may end up fixing it for you. Again, not quite a guarantee, but it is something what you want to do. So click on turn off screen time and see if that ended up fixing it. If that fixed it, then you're good to go. If that didn't fix it, what I'd recommend doing is rebooting your phone. So holding down the buttons that you normally would use to reboot your device, go and hold it down, power back on, power back off, and you want to see if that ended up fixing it. If it did, then you're great. If it still didn't fix it, you may actually have to go ahead and update your iPhone. So what you want to do here is you want to go and click on the settings icon right up there. And then you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see general. So click on general right there. And then what you want to do is you want to go and click on software update. So if you see an update available, then you basically want to update to that version of software. If you do not see an update, then you should be okay. But as long as you see an update, you want to go and update to it. And you should probably be good to go for the most part. If you're still having issues, I'd recommend rebooting your phone, powering it on, powering it back off. But you should be good to go for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I'll sell every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out until then.